Welcome back to the Roundtable, I'm Nemo, and guys, for fans of Rick and Morty, this is a big day. After waiting years in anticipation, after getting announcements, and even a little clip, we finally have the illustrious trailer for Season 4 of Rick and Morty. Look at it, it's just so perfect. Now that we finally have the Season 4 trailer in our hands, we can finally get a better scope of what this season's going to look like in terms of episodes and just overall what's gonna happen in Season 4. And I gotta tell you, although I had a little bit of doubt, this trailer reaffirmed my excitement for Season 4 and it reaffirmed how good Rick and Morty really is. In other words, the trailer gets you hyped. So if you haven't seen the trailer for Season 4 of Rick and Morty already, I implore you to go and watch that trailer right now because there's tons of spoilers in this video. That is because I, Humble Nemo, am going to try to break down this trailer and just squeeze out every little bit of information that I can to try to give you, the viewer, a better understanding of what's going on here. So without further ado, let's take a look at this behemoth trailer and figure out what is happening. So before we delve too deep into what's actually happening in this trailer, let's just go shot by shot and look at every scene that this trailer gives us. The first scene shows Rick flying to some sort of alien planet and landing on an alien beach. Now this may look familiar to Rick and Morty fans because it's the exact same beach featured in the promo art. That's right, originally Adult Swim released some promotional art for season four, just a couple of promotional images. We broke those down in a past video. And one of those locations was this sort of heaven beach with Rick looking incredibly relaxed. The fact that they're opening the trailer with this clip makes me wonder a few things. I don't know if this could be the opening for the season, like maybe this is season four's cold open. Rick being alone could be interesting. Or this might just be a grandiose way of starting the trailer because again, he's just flying to some giant alien planet. It looks all cinematic. I also don't think it's that deep because they immediately cut to another shot of another location. This time, Rick and Morty enter what look like alien ruins. In the next scene, we see Morty running from aliens with this cat creature named Chachi, who we've never seen before, but in typical Rick and Morty fashion, Chachi's head gets blown up and Morty screams in agony as if he's known Chachi for a long time. Again, this is like a total Rick and Morty thing, like we've never seen this character before, but obviously they're acting like they've seen him. I don't know if this makes more sense in the context of the episode, but either way, it's really funny and just guys, rip, rip Chachi. Can we get an F in the chat for Chachi, please? The next scene shows Rick and Morty back at the alien ruins, putting on some sort of protective suits as they avoid all of the booby traps that get shot at them. They look incredibly bored. In the next scene, Morty is scaling some sort of alien cliffside, which looks extremely difficult, while Rick sits in a chair next to him, floating calmly like a, the total G that he is, eating, I think, like McDonald's. Rick gives a line that actually could give away a lot about what's happening in this scene, saying that Morty wanted some sort of epic adventure. We've seen this in the past, where Morty wanted some super adventure, and Rick goes along with it just to see what happens, but in reality, it's more for Morty than Rick. That was literally an episode in season one. I have reasons to believe that this is the exact same planet and adventure that they're both on when they enter the alien ruins because of how bored Rick looks and like the similar skies in the background. Moving on, the next scene show Rick and Morty ducking bullets in front of some cool space rock. I don't know if they're hunting for this mineral or something like that, but they're obviously in a precarious situation. The next scene shows Summer and Rick alone in the Smith's living room. It's good to see that the house is exactly the same. A burst of fire jumps them out of their seat and Rick begrudgingly says a line about how it's the end of a Morty getting the dragon experiment, implying that somehow through some Rick and Morty scheme that that Morty now has a dragon. What's interesting here is that the cable box in their living room still has the interdimensional cable hookup that Rick put in it in season one. This could be a little nod or somehow maybe another interdimensional cable episode. Maybe they were gonna start one before the fire started. I have no idea. It's just interesting to point out. This next scene will have a lot of Rick and Morty fans cheering with excitement. Mr. Meeseeks is back. It looks like a whole lot of them. And in this scene in particular, it looks like they're destroying the city. So whatever Mr. Meeseeks centered antics are gonna happen in season four, it looks like it's gonna be like they're crazy adventure yet, and I for one am extremely excited. The next scene shows Summer and her mom fighting in an airport terminal. I have no clue what is going on here, but I do know Rick and Morty is often very good at balancing crazy sci-fi plots with legitimate family character development. Perhaps in this episode, Beth and Summer are fighting mother and daughter style over something more family oriented. But because it's framed under the crazy world of Rick and Morty, they're fighting in an airport terminal and there's probably some sci-fi thing going on in the background, representing the bigger issue of their relationship. We haven't seen Beth and summer but heads too much so it would be an interesting thing to see in season four and we have had episodes focusing on the relationship between beth and summer like in season three so yeah this could be really interesting also i don't know if fighting in an airport terminal is a civil war reference but I hope it is. The next scene shows Morty destroying a group of what I can only assume are bullies with just tech, I'm assuming from Rick. One of them gets sucked up in a portal, the other one seems to be like glued to the side. It then shows the cops pulling up, which I'm sure will put Morty in quite the pickle. But judging by how he handled these bullies, I don't think he's gonna take anything from cops, especially considering how powerful that tech is. Maybe we're witnessing Morty finally snapping and just going on a rampage. I don't know, this could be interesting. I can't really figure out this next part at all. It appears to be some sort of fungal infected head sprayed with something that makes 
makes it melt. There's like two mouths. It's disgusting. I don't even know. In the next scene, we have Morty and Rick back in Rick's garage. Morty, it looks burned or something, and he's rubbing some sort of ointment on his face. Rick is warning him about the amount of time he can have the ointment on his face. Morty looks clearly distraught. I don't know what happened to put him in this situation, but it looks kind of intense. This next scene is very exciting. It's obviously from the episode where Jerry and Morty are building an app together. Again, we got a clip for this a little while back, but just to see another Jerry Morty adventure is going to be great, and it looks like whatever happened with that app development has gotten them in quite a lot of trouble as they fall into some sort of military alien base, and it looks like things are about to go down, so pray for our boys. The next one shows Rick evading security, some sort of alien security at some sort of alien event. This could be some sort of concert or even a press conference. I mean, it looks more akin to a press conference or a convention. Maybe Rick and Morty are parodying Comic-Con in this scene. That would be incredible. Rick makes a sly comment about his lab coat ripping off Doctor Strange, and it does exactly that, which shows they're still at it with the pop culture references. They still got it, baby. This next one is interesting. Rick is running with Summer and Morty, so we know there's going to be a Rick, Summer, Morty adventure. Always exciting. So Summer is dressed as some sort of warrior princess. Rick just kind of has a backpack. And they're running through this very magical area. Rick is holding some sort of device that turns people into objects. However, the thing that makes me the most excited is that he makes a line about how he could get used to this magic stuff, which means we're finally going to see an episode where Rick accepts magic as opposed to science. I don't know what got them in this situation, but they're obviously in a magical world, and that's obviously magical equipment Rick has. So the idea of finally getting to see Rick use magic and even accepting magic would be incredible, and I can't wait to see them tackle that subject. The next one, again, will have a lot of Rick and Morty fans excited. We see a fan favorite, Mr. Poopy Butthole himself, back on his feet being a functioning member of society as none other than a college professor, which I don't know why it makes sense, but it does. All of a sudden, the students in his crowd all turn on him and start attacking him Taekwondo style. I can't even begin to imagine what happened to lead to this scene. I just know that it's going to be crazy when it does happen. And it looks like Mr. Poopy Butthole has it covered. He is great at fighting, so I'm definitely looking forward to this part in season four. This next one shows Morty and incredibly sick, saying that he's dying. Rick appears to be flying somewhere, hopefully to get him help. This next scene is something that we've already seen before, but it's great to see again. This is the episode where Taika Waititi is guest voicing an alien that appears to trick Morty and Jerry into building his app, which I don't know why they did. He literally has something written on his head saying, do not develop my, do not develop my app, but I'm sure they'll find a way to get tricked in this episode. There's a quick shot of Rick getting attacked by some sort of rock monster that destroys his equipment. This could be in the same episode as the magic. I'm not sure. After that, we see some more incredible Rick and Morty fans service. Not only do we have Mr. Meeseeks, we have Gearhead in the backseat who actually gets shot by Morty in some sort of dictator costume. Again, I can't even begin to understand what is happening in this episode, but this Mr. Meeseeks episode might be the best of the season. I don't know if Gearhead is dead now or something, or if they introduced him just to kill him off, but I think that's really funny. The next one shows Rick taking out a punch card and punching it as a Morty adventure, which is a funny little joke that shows that sometimes Morty can take a hold of the adventure, and it would fit in with those clips at the beginning where Rick was on that adventure that he clearly looked like he didn't want to be in. Finally, we get some snappy advert, one more clip of them taking off from some sort of alien city, and finally back in Rick's garage, Morty turning into a horrifying monster. That was referenced in the clip previously, so clearly he kept that ointment on for too long. And that was it guys, those were all of the scenes in the new Rick and Morty trailer. It looks like it's going to be one of the best seasons yet, and I'm super excited, but real quick, let's go into some deeper detail with some of these scenes, because there is a lot packed in this trailer, and also trying to figure out how these episodes are gonna work. One thing I noticed is that I did mention that the security could be from an episode where they go to a convention, and looking at that second to last shot where they're flying away from the alien city, there are signs reading HeistCon or TheistCon or something like that, but either way, it's a convention in a city, so there very well could be an episode where Rick and Morty go to some sort of alien convention. I don't know where it fits in with the rest of the episodes, but it definitely could be in there. Speaking of the rest of the episodes, let's try to figure out what these five episodes are, because the way they're handling it is that they're doing five episodes now, and then presumably five episodes later in the year, maybe they're still in post-production, or they don't want to air them during winter because ratings are lower. So we're getting half of season four and then the other half later, basically. So with five episodes to work with and this vast array of different clips from different locations, what could these five episodes be about? Well, one of the guaranteed plots for sure is Morty and Jerry's app. That's definitely going to be an A or B plot in one of these episodes. So knowing that Jerry and Morty are going to be off on their own adventure, it's safe to assume this episode could also contain the fight between Summer and Beth in the airport terminal. And if they're off on their own adventures, then this also could contain all these weird teased images 
is where Rick is on his own in an alien field. Maybe while Jerry and Morty are developing an app and Summer and Bath are hashing out family problems in an airport terminal, Rick decides to take a little R&R &R on his own for the first time. That in and of itself could be a great episode. Another episode that is certain is there is a Mr. Meeseeks episode. We are definitely going to see a Mr. Meeseeks episode this season and I for one am very excited. It looks to be one where the Meeseeks situation goes more out of control than it ever has before as we can tell with how they were destroying the city and this is definitely going to be a Rick and Morty adventure with Gearhead and Mr. Meeseeks in Rick's ship, though the family could be back on Earth dealing with their own Meeseeks related problems, I have no idea. So it's safe to say we're going to get a family episode where they're off on their own adventures and a Mr. Meeseeks episode, but I also think third episode could be another Morty led adventure like we've seen in the past. That would include scenes from them during those alien ruins, the scenes of Morty climbing up the mountain, and even the punch card at the end, including any other scenes that I just couldn't connect. It makes a lot of sense, they've done it before and I feel like they would totally do it again in a different context. Another episode plot that I think is guaranteed is the adventure where Rick, Summer, and Morty go off and Rick uses magic for the first time. That is guaranteed to be one of its own episodes for sure. That could even include the clip of the dragon with Morty, and it would explain why Rick was with Summer in that scene. Now, if they're off on their own adventure, it's pretty safe to assume that Beth and Jerry would have their own marriage-themed B-plot, which is another typical thing for the show. Another episode I think is guaranteed is one where Morty is sick. We've seen some clips of it, and I feel like that would be enough to either introduce the plot of the episode or could serve as the episode plot itself. It might even be where this creepy headshot is from. Now again, this is all speculation, and there's a lot of clips that I couldn't really put together or try to create an episode out of here, and that's why I think it's totally plausible that there could be another clip show episode, a la Interdimensional Cable or Morty's Mind Blowers. That would include all of these loose end clips, like the one with Morty and the bullies, the possible dragon, and the sick Morty that turns into a monster. I mean, that has to be one-off. Unless Morty turning into a monster turns into, like, the big plot of the episode, I don't know how that would fit in anywhere. I know I know I gave, like, six plots when there's only five episodes. That's why I'm saying this is all speculation, and these are just ideas. I have no way of knowing what these episodes are going to be about, but I think I could be spot on with some of these in the very least. Rick and Morty's super unpredictable, there's really no way to tell, so we're just gonna have to wait for the episodes and see what happens, but if they're as good as these clips are on their own, I think we're in for a pretty great half season. Overall, I think it's important to realize that season 4 looks like it's going to be what season 3 should have been, or at least what it was trying to be. We're seeing a lot more fan service, a lot more things that Rick and Morty fans wanted to see, like Me Seeks or Mr. Poopy Butthole. It just looks like they're going back to the roots of what made Rick and Morty so great, there's no more long, stretched out divorce plots, and it seems like the crew really understands what they need to do to make the fans happy, but also to make great episodes. The stakes feel kind of lower in this season, I feel like there's gonna be a lot more one-off situations, and honestly, I'm not sad about that at all, I'm actually super excited. But these clips on their own are enough to prove to me at least that season 4 was going to be one of the greatest seasons of Rick and Morty yet, and with plenty more episodes to come, I cannot be more excited. But as always, I want to know what you guys think about all of this, did you see this trailer, did it make you hype, did it not? Let us know in those comments down below, or tweet to us around Table Vids or me at Israel Nemo. If you want to consider helping out the Roundtable, you can support us on Patreon or become a member of the channel and get exclusive access to scripts and avatars. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share it, and subscribe to the Roundtable for more incredible cartoon content like this. As always, I'm Nemo, this is a Rick and Morty breakdown, and I will see you next time. Peace.